Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBC champion Deontay Wilder, who is currently preparing to fight Tyson Fury in December, he's made some comments that keep the prospect of a future Anthony Joshua fight well and truly alive. Now these comments, uh, in some respects, very positive stuff, but also a little bit confusing given some of what has been going on. So I'll get to the article itself that he's made these quotes and then on to a few thoughts. So the comments that he's made, they're in a BoxingScene.com article. Uh, originally, they were first reported by Sky Sports. And the headline reads, Wilder wants fans to apply pressure, force the Joshua fight. So quite a tasty headline to sort of get you stuck into the story. Uh, so, you know, up the top there, nothing too much to note. We'll get straight to the quotes. At some point in time, it's going to happen. And when it happens, I'm going to reflect on all the stuff that I've been through. I'm going to reflect on how many tireless times my whole team stayed up. Shelley is like 84. Shelley couldn't sleep, was up two hours, three hours. He's too old to be up that late. But boxing is an emotional sport, and we've done everything to make that fight happen. I want people to know. If people want that fight to happen, it's going to be up to you guys to make that happen. You already know what you've got to do. Make it happen. The fans have got the control. My title says heavyweight champion of the world. So with that being said, I want to travel the world. I can't wait to come over and fight again. We are just waiting on the appropriate time. That's never not an option for us. We don't care about where he is. Just let it be right. Let's make it right. Give the fans what they want. And that's what I'm about. I want to give you guys what you want to see. Those were Deontay Wilder's statements, originally made to Sky Sports and then re-reported by BoxingScene.com. That's what you're seeing on screen. Okay, so my mind is a little bit blown by those comments because it's a little bit all over the place in terms of it doesn't exactly line up with where things are at at the moment. And what I mean by that is Deontay Wilder is currently preparing to face Tyson Fury. His team, Shelley Finkel, his co-manager, has made it very clear no negotiations are happening right now. The other side of the coin, which is the Team Joshua camp, Eddie Hearn, they've been making advances in the past week or two. Uh, a new offer has gone up, percentage deal with a rematch, a minimum guarantee, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but Shelley Finkel has refused to meet. He says, let's make the fight after December the 1st. We can negotiate then. And depending on which side of the fence you sit on in terms of your support, you're either let's negotiate now or just let Wilder and Fury get their fight over, then negotiate. We've got that date in April that Anthony Joshua is looking at. So once one party says we need to wait, the other party says we need to start negotiating now because if we wait, it could take too long and we may not even make the fight. We need to get started now. So with Deontay Wilder's comments in mind... What are we to make of that? Because at the moment, there is no negotiation. Eddie Hearn's been saying publicly he wants to go around Shelley Finkel. He's trying to cut Finkel out of the picture. I'm not all too convinced that Finkel is really out of the picture. But there is an offer that has been made. Joshua's camp is saying, we want to make this fight. We want to get things done now. But this whole thing about the fans. Fans want this fight. Fans have been demanding this fight, but if you can't negotiate, how can you make this fight? If the fans were really in control, this fight would have already been made. So to say to fans, look, you need to make the fight, is, I, I just don't really know what sort of value is in that. It's a little bit pointless because what can fans actually do here beyond saying, please negotiate, or when you can negotiate after De December 1st, Please don't faff around, make the deal quickly. So it doesn't really matter who you support here. Are the fans going to have any impact on this? Because fans on both sides of this equation and boxing fans more broadly who aren't necessarily vested to either fighter, they're saying, look, just make the fight, get it over with. If you are going to fight, just fight because it's getting boring, it's getting old. You know, this whole sort of debate on the internet about who's ducking who for whatever reason, you know, all the sort of, you know, long responses that people leave on comment sections like mine, other videos, 
diatribes about who's done what and when, and there's points on both sides that people argue. At the end of the day, all fans are going to do is keep talking. They cannot influence this, this fight any more than they already have. They are saying, we want the fight, we want it now. We've been saying that for months. Fans have been saying, give us this fight. So it is not just up to the fans, it's up to both sides to actually work together, collegially, collaboratively, put their egos aside, and if it's truly about the fans, make the fight. Make sure that there's a fair split of the proceeds for each fighter, you know, the revenue streams, what, it's going to be a mega fight. There's going to be so much money involved with this fight. And that's what's really been the sticking point here. Both fighters, you can clearly tell, they want the fight. They want that work. They'd probably fight in a car park for free if they had the opportunity, if the belt was on the line. But the thing is, though, they've got their teams, their respective teams, who want to drag this out for as long as possible. Because if they can build the fight even more, build it over time, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's already now bigger than it would have been, say, had it been held in September or October. By the time April rolls around, it'll be bigger then. And if it drags out for another year, or even longer, it'll be bigger again. But certainly the patience of fans on both sides of this coin, it's been well and truly tested. So these comments by Deontay Wilder saying, at some point in time it's going to happen etc you know i really like to hear that but in terms of the fan stuff fans do not have any control beyond making the comments that they already have been that they want the fight and when the fight isn't made they look to blame someone and who depending on who you support that influences who you blame their team the fighter whoever but it is a good signal from deontay wilder saying look it's going to happen I'm taking that as a positive, but the fan stuff I'm not so convinced about because really, what can we do? We're not drawing up the contract. We're not involved around the table for negotiations. We're not making calls, doing emails. We're not bringing the teams together. If anything, what's happening, the fan support that's been building the fight, the divide is creating this rivalry, this intense bitterness between fans, and that's going to make it even bigger and bigger and bigger the more time goes on. But we've got the Fury fight now. That's a great fight in itself. December 1st, Los Angeles. It's going to be a good fight. It'll be really interesting to see what happens in that one. Because it's going to be a either a fairy tale comeback story. Or Deontay Wilder is going to brutally knock Tyson Fury out. I don't really see sort of too much in between. Those are the kind of two options that most fans are sort of looking at. Either Fury can dodge Wilder for 12. I think that's unlikely. Or Wilder is just going to spark him out at some point, catch up with him, land the right hand. And when he lands a right hand, if he can beat Fury, obviously that makes the Joshua fight even bigger again. And that's part of the problem too, because these negotiations that have been happening, or not happening, it's because they want to establish Deontay Wilder's commercial value, his worth. They want to see what are the numbers, so then obviously they can go to the negotiating table, knowing what Deontay Wilder has done on pay-per-view, And they will have a good indication of what they can ask for in terms of demanding 50-50 or 40%, whatever it ends up being based on the numbers. But clearly, Eddie Hearn, Barry Hearn, Team Joshua, they would prefer to lock it in now because if they lock in Wilder's commercial value, then it's capped. If they can get him at 35% rematch clause minimum guarantee, that's probably, in their eyes, a pretty healthy deal for Wilder. But for them then obviously they get 65% of the pie. So we don't know what the number is. That's just me sort of throwing something out there. If it was truly about making the fight, someone would give up the ground. And we've we've seen that hasn't often been the case in the failed negotiation and obviously this other negotiation that hasn't got off the ground. But I don't believe fans can do too much more beyond saying, please make the fight. That's up to the teams now, not the fans. The fans have made their views clear. Wilder was on top of Anthony Joshua's Twitter poll, 53% of the vote. 480,007 votes were cast in that poll. Wilder got 53%. Tyson Fury, 42%. Dillian White, way back in the weeds, 5%. But it's clear, fans have already said, make the fight. 
Okay, so I'm going to cut it off now. But what did you make of these comments? Deontay Wilder, keeping the dream alive, saying it is going to happen. Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.